Hi guys, so this is my March favorites, and can you believe that it's March already and that it's springtime and it's actually in the 50s here where I live. So I'm going to do my March favorites. I have them in three categories, um, DVDs, beauty, and book favorites. So I'm going to do my book favorites first. And I am going to do a review of all the books I've read for March, probably next week. So I'm not going to go into, like, full detail about these books. But anyway. So, I got this book at Target, and it's The Governess of Highland Hall, book one, and it's Edwardian Brides. And I think this was, this was $14.99, and this one had... I think it had, it had 30 chapters in it, and 322 pages, and this is what it looks like, and this book really wasn't that good, I mean, I liked it, and towards the end, I really did get into it, but the second book in the series is way better, so... This book I got at Walmart, and it's a V.C. Andrews book, and if you know me in my past book reviews, I love V.C. Andrews books. Um, this book goes along with the, the Flowers in the Attic, and before I get into this book, I'm going to tell you in advance, you have to read the Flowers in the Attic book before you can read the Diary series, because if you don't read the Flowers in the Attic book, First, before you read the diary series, you're going to be so confused and you're not going to know what's going, to go what's going on. But, um, the first book in this series is Christopher's Diary, Secrets of Foxworth. And I did do a book review on it. I don't know what book review video that was anyway. But, um, this is V.C. Andrews, Christopher's Diary, Echo Echoes of Gal D Gallagher. Gallagher? Yeah. And it has 400-some pages in it. And most of her books usually have 400 pages in it anyway. This book doesn't have, um, here's the cover, by the way. I got this at Walmart. I think it was only, like, five bucks. Um, this book really doesn't have chapters in it. It just has, it just, the first part is just, um, it says Becoming Christopher and Kathy. And then the second part is just the epilogue, and it's just called the epilogue. So this book doesn't have any pages at all in it. So, I mean, any, ch not pages, any chapters at all in it. But I really liked it, and this and the third book to this series comes out in May, and it's called Secret Brother, I think. And, oh my god, this book, the first book really wasn't that great. But to be honest, it really wasn't that great. But this book was good, and it had a surprise ending at the end. So that's the reason why you have to read the first book, which is The Flowers in the Attic. To understand the ending at the end. And maybe even the second book in the series. second book is called Petals on the Wind. Or In the Wind. Something like that. And oh my god. these It's just like so good. Like this book. At the end I was so shocked. Because I'm like. I thought this was going to be the end of the series. Because I'm like. You know. They're already. I read. They finished the diary part in this book. And I'm like. It's probably going to end. Because they're done with the diary. But then at the very end. The epilogue. They have a surprise ending at the end, and it's like, oh, so shocking. Can't wait to see the next book that comes from this series. This book I got at Target, and it's the next book in the Edwardian Brides. It's book two. It's called The Daughter of Highland Hall. And the next book in the series comes out in October of this year. This costs $14.99, so, so they were both $30. And this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it. Yep, you can see it. But, um, yes, and this book was a lot better than the last book. Like, it, I got into this book better than the first one. And just so you know, I don't know if I made this, I know, but I do, every time I read a book, I post a little book review on my Tumblr account, and it's called Curl Up with a Good Book 13, and it's all one word, there's no spaces. I'll put... The, not the link, but I'll put my the username for it in the description so that you know. And I usually do them on every book that I read, unless it's a book that I really don't like or whatever. But, yeah, it's on Tumblr. You can go see it. It's really it's not that interesting because I only did a few posts so far. 
I got this at Five Below, and like I always say, if you don't know what Five Below is, Five Below is a store where everything in it is $5 or below, and they do...